before saving each song or before going to the next song or saving it for the day you want to optimize the song so go to shift song and we're you're not in this screen which is the first screen we were in the second screen so usually this screen will come up so you go to optimize and you say execute it's going to ask you yeah are you sure are you really sure yes and then what this does is this takes away your undos and all that and then it actually collects the song into one place on your on your disk drive so it makes it easy to copy over onto uh, disk it makes the file smaller How about setting the clock and everything here we go over the system page date make all your settings here is it I the page over to the original page. And press play. I'll show you something that got me the other day while bumping tracks one to another. If we press on 13 and 14, you'll see that 13 and 14 record tracks are hooked up to 13 and 14 output tracks. For some reason, that happened. Now, when that happens, if you press on 13 and 14, it will only have two modes besides off, and that will be playback and record. Because if you're in the source mode, like this channel with the orange lit, that means you're playing through, and anything you play through, since somehow we got 13 and 14 hooked up to its own output tracks it'll just have a feedback so to prevent that from happening the recorder will not go into source mode to prevent to uh, prevent that from happening or to fix that we just press on 13 and 14 and see how that's flashing you just press that off that takes the track the output track off of the record tracks. So now we go on to orange, which is playthrough or source. We go to record and play. Okay, let's look at auto punch. Auto punch uh, punches in while the song is going so you can start the song and then sit your instrument and then when it comes to the point of where you want to record the auto punch will punch in and punch out when you want to stop these two markers one is the beginning of the song after the clicks and the other is the end so if I wanted to start at the beginning with the clicks and but I don't want to record until after the clicks I would just press this and these two at the same time and then press that on I think I was and there's your auto punch how about loop uh, let's listen to the loop. If we want to listen to the whole song, or if we want to listen to just part of the song, just to this end here, where it fades out, then I would set a marker there at three. So two is at the very end, three is right after it fades out and one is the beginning so I just want to hear from the beginning of the music to when it fades out so I'll press loop and I'll press one and three 
and then press loop again. So if I play this song, it's about three and a half, four minutes long, it would go up to this point and then stop, go back to this point and start again until I stopped it. Let's look at preview now. Preview lets you sample about uh, 10 to 20 seconds of a song that you want to hear. Right now I have it right at a position where if I have tw 20 seconds before or 10 seconds before and after this point I will get one verse and the, co and the little chorus I have for this song. And so if I press through go past 12, 10 seconds. And so it goes 10 seconds through. If I press 2, it will go from 10 seconds before the selected spot that I was in to that point. And if I go from, it will go from the 12 where I'm selected, 10 seconds past 12, the 12 where I sec selected there. And back to the position I was in. That's preview. And you can set these to anything you want by hitting shift and two. So you can set it at anywhere from one to uh, ten seconds or even less than one if you want. And then the same thing if you hit shift and from. Then it'll show you the seconds and then you exit when you're done adjusting the seconds. Preview. Let's set a marker. I don't have a marker here yet, so this is the beginning of the song. This is, uh, this here is just clicks. So, I'm going to set a marker by hitting tap right there. And so you set those at major ports of the points of the song. And you can use song arrange to play those different phrases in, uh, in different orders if you want we can get into that in another video and so if I had now if I go to the next phrase of the song this at 13.1. Let's set another marker there. Also that's the first phrase so you can go travel from here to here easily. And then you would set that for every subsequent phrase in the song and then you can mix and match if you want and we'll show you that in another video.